Have you ever wondered why your dog behaves the way it does? A question I'm sure many of us have pondered upon, especially after witnessing our furry friends perform some rather peculiar actions. Today, we're embarking on a journey to explore the intriguing sphere of canine psychology. Understanding the psychology of dogs, their behavior, cognition, and emotions is more than just an academic pursuit. It has the potential to revolutionize the way we interact with our four-legged companions. Dogs, much like humans, are complex creatures with their own set of emotions and cognitive abilities. They experience joy, sadness, fear, and a range of other emotions. They can solve problems, learn from their mistakes, and even display signs of empathy. However, the world of a dog is not quite the same as ours. Their experiences and perceptions are filtered through a different lens, a canine lens, if you will. Their behavior is a reflection of this unique perspective, a wagging tail, a playful bark, a submissive rollover. Each of these actions is a form of communication, a tiny window into their minds, and a chance for us to understand them better. But why is it important to understand canine psychology? Well, by understanding what makes our dogs tick, we can build stronger, more meaningful relationships with them. We can learn to read their signals, respond to their needs, and respect their boundaries. We can provide them with an environment that is truly conducive to their well-being, both physically and emotionally. Imagine being able to understand why your dog barks at the postman, hides during thunderstorms, or wags its tail when you walk through the door. Imagine being able to communicate with your dog, not just on a superficial level, but on a deeper, more emotional level. This is the power of understanding canine psychology. So buckle up. We're about to delve deep into the minds of dogs exploring their behavior, cognition, and emotions, and uncovering the secrets of canine communication. Now let's step into the fascinating world of canine psychology. Is your dog's behavior purely instinctual, or is there more at play? Let's delve deeper into this fascinating question. When we observe dogs in their natural habitat, or even in our homes, we notice certain behaviors that seem to be inbuilt, as if they are hardwired into their DNA. For instance, have you ever wondered why your dog loves to dig up your garden this is a, a a classic example of an instinctual behavior it's not because they have a penchant for gardening but rather it harks back to their wild ancestors who would dig to find food or to create a safe comfortable place to sleep on the other hand there are behaviors that dogs exhibit which are clearly not instinctual these are learned behaviors a perfect example is the simple command of sit dogs don't naturally sit on command this is something we teach them it's a learned behavior, a result of training and repetition, but it's not just training that shapes a dog's behavior. The environment they live in also plays a significant role. Dogs are incredibly adaptable creatures. They learn to navigate their surroundings and modify their behavior to fit into the world we share with them. Whether it's learning not to jump on the furniture or understanding that the sound of the fridge door means a potential snack, our dogs are continually learning and adapting based on their environment. So, what's the balance between instinct and learned behavior in dogs? Well, it's not as clear-cut as you might think. While dogs do have certain instinctual behaviors, they are also highly capable learners. They have the ability to associate actions with consequences, a fundamental aspect of learning. This means that while your dog may have an instinctual urge to dig through consistent training and positive reinforcement, you can teach them that digging in the garden leads to a less desirable outcome like no playtime while playing with their toys leads to praise and treats. As we can see, dog behavior is a complex blend of instinct and learning. It's this fascinating interplay that makes our canine companions such intriguing creatures to live with and study. What goes on inside a dog's mind? Are they capable of complex thought? These are questions that have puzzled humans for centuries. Well, the answers might surprise you. Scientific research has unveiled that dogs are indeed capable of complex thought processes. Studies have shown that dogs can solve puzzles, navigate mazes, and even understand some human language. This is not just about fetching a ball or following simple commands. They can associate words with objects or actions and can understand the difference between sit, stay, or fetch. Dogs also have a remarkable memory. They can remember the faces of other dogs and humans even after several years. They remember where they've buried their favorite bone or where that sneaky squirrel usually hides. This ability to remember, combined with their problem-solving skills, shows that there's a lot more going on in a dog's mind than we might think, but dogs don't perceive the world the same way we do. 
Their world is primarily ruled by their noses. Dogs can detect certain diseases in humans, track down lost people, or sniff out illegal substances, all thanks to their extraordinary sense of smell. It's estimated that a dog's sense of smell is between 10,000 to 100,000 times more sensitive than ours. Their hearing is also superior to ours. Dogs can hear frequencies that are inaudible to us and they can pinpoint the source of a sound with remarkable accuracy. This acute sense of hearing allows them to pick up on subtle changes in their environment, making them excellent watchdogs. And what about time? Do dogs perceive time like we do? Well, it's not entirely clear, but researchers believe that dogs have a concept of what we call dog time, that is, they live in the moment, but they also have a sense of the immediate past and future. This is why your dog gets excited when they hear the jingle of their leash, or why they know it's time for their walk or meal. Understanding canine cognition allows us to better understand and relate to our furry friends. It's fascinating to delve deeper into their world and it only strengthens the bond between us. After all, they are not just pets, they are family. Do dogs experience emotions in the same way humans do? It's a question that has intrigued scientists and dog lovers alike for centuries. Let's delve into the fascinating world of canine emotions. Evidence suggests that dogs are capable of feeling a range of emotions from happiness and fear to, believe it or not, jealousy. Imagine coming home after a long day. Your dog is there, tail wagging, eyes bright, body wiggling with excitement. This is a clear display of happiness. They're not just pleased to see you, they're overjoyed. Now consider a thunderstorm. You may notice your dog becoming anxious, hiding or shaking. Their ears might flatten, their tail tucks between their legs. This is fear. Dogs, just like us, can feel fear when faced with something they perceive as a threat. And what about jealousy? You might have seen this if you've ever given attention to another pet or even a new baby. Your dog might try to push in between, demanding your attention. This behavior suggests that dogs can indeed feel jealousy. But it's not just these emotions that dogs experience. They also show love and form strong emotional bonds with humans and other animals. A dog will often follow its owner from room to room, stay close when they're sick or upset, and show signs of distress when separated. This is more than just loyalty, it's a deep emotional attachment. Moreover, dogs have been known to grieve the loss of their human or animal companions, showing symptoms such as loss of appetite, lethargy, and even depression. This further illustrates the depth of their emotional capacity. So, in answer to our opening question, while we can't know for certain if dogs experience emotions exactly as we do, it's clear they have a complex emotional life. They're capable of feeling a wide range of emotions, displaying them in ways we can understand if we take the time to observe and learn their language. Just like us, dogs have a rich emotional life. They feel joy, they feel fear, they feel love, and yes, they can even feel jealousy. So the next time you look into those loving eyes, remember there's a whole world of emotion looking back at you. How do dogs communicate and what are they trying to tell us? This question is central to understanding our furry friends and building a strong, fulfilling relationship with them. Dogs, much like us, have a rich language of their own, but it's expressed through vocalizations, body language and scent marking. Yes, that's right, scent marking. With a sense of smell thousands of times more potent than ours, dogs use scents to communicate a multitude of messages. Let's talk about vocalizations first. Dogs have a range of sounds like barks, growls, whines and howls, each carrying a specific message. A growl, for instance, can mean a warning or threat, or sometimes it's just a playful signal during a game of tug of war. Then there's body language. A wagging tail, contrary to popular belief, doesn't always mean a happy dog. It's all about the context and the rest of the dog's body language. A high, stiff wag might be a sign of alertness or agitation, while a relaxed, sweeping tail wag usually indicates friendliness. Another common signal is a dog showing its belly. It's often mistaken as a request for belly rubs, but it can also be a sign of submission or anxiety. If your dog is showing its belly in a tense situation, it's likely trying to diffuse the tension by showing submissiveness. Understanding these signals is crucial. It can help prevent misunderstandings and even avoid potential conflicts. For instance, a dog that's yawning might not be tired but stressed. If you see your dog yawning in a new or crowded environment, it might be a good idea to give it some space or a comforting pat. In the end, 
remember that each dog is an individual with its own personality and communication style. What works for one might not work for another. It's about building a unique bond with your dog, understanding its signals and responding accordingly. By understanding canine communication, we can build a stronger, more fulfilling relationship with our dogs.